There are several different techniques we could use to strip a guitar. But what we're going to try uh, using today is automotive pin striping. Uh, you can get this at any automotive store. It comes in a variety of colors. It actually has some that have flames and designs and all kinds of things. Uh, it comes in many different sizes from about an eighth of an inch to three inches in width and it is relatively inexpensive. I bought this uh, 30 foot roll of half inch orange for eight dollars. I removed the strings and the bridge from this guitar make it a little easier to work with. I've also removed the plate for the electronics and the plate for the tremolo bar. Now I've already cut uh, two pieces and put them on here with uh, painters tape uh, to kind of get an idea of what I want to do. I'm going to start with by putting uh, two parallel strips across and I'm going to be going through the bridge area. So the, actually the bridge will be sitting on top of this where the striping will stop, the bridge will be there and the striping will continue. Okay, to start with I removed one of the stripes and I left the other one on there still with the painter's tape just to kind of give myself an idea of the angle that I want. Uh, it's going to be more important that when I do the second one that I make it parallel with the first one. So uh, what I did was I marked uh, basically a little line here where it's going to be crossing the cavity of the bridge. Okay, I split, made a little cut in the backing to expose the tape so I can do it from both ends. And I find the direction that I wanted and just lightly tack it down. Just going to the edge. Carefully peeling back as I go. And then starting on one side, start wrapping it around the guitar as I go. usually pull this up pretty easily. This is made to go on a painted surface like an automobile and it takes about 24 hours before it hardens. Switch over to this side. Wrinkles in here. And slide that into the cavity. Exacto knife. What we'll do is we'll just cut that little. And the same over here. And we got our first stripe on. Take this uh, tape measure down. This is just a standard tape cloth tape measure just so I can kind of get an idea of the spacing as I want these to run fairly parallel to each other. Well, I like to run them exactly parallel to each other. Just so I can there. Okay, once I get that, then I remove the tape measure. Oh yes, that's very nice. Now continue like I did with the first stripe.
Now because of the way the guitar is curved, you're not going to get parallel both front and back. Uh, the guitar is not flat and has many different angles, but you can make it fairly close. Yeah, that's nice. Now we'll go and get this side. It's actually going to cross over itself. and we do the same with that one and we basically have our stripes done now I have to cut out for the cavity if I can just fold that straight down. Oh yeah. That looks good. Let's give it a quick little test here to see how that will look. Oh, that's nice. And uh, this takes about 24 hours to dry, so if you have any adjustments, I would get them off now. Uh, you can remove uh, auto pinstriping. Uh, maybe in a couple years I'll do another video on this and we'll uh, see if that works. Okay. Along with doing the stripes on the guitar, I also wanted to put a decal on. What I'm going to do is put a decal of my favorite sports team, which blue and orange is also the colors. And uh, what I have here is just a simple little decal that I purchased for about a dollar. Again, it should be easily removable when I want to sell the guitar, unless I sell it to another Bears fan. And there we have it. Okay, it's been 24 hours now, and let's take a look at our final product here. Uh, I've put the strings and the bridge back on, and as you can see, the pinstriping is on there very well. It's not going to come off. Uh, through normal wear, at least not easily, and uh, the back looks pretty good too. I'm all in all very well pleased with this. Uh, the whole project for the pinstriping, the pinstriping cost me uh, $8, and I have probably enough striping left to do two more guitars. I also, while I was doing this, I put a little sticker on there, and I also uh, replaced the cheap plastic knobs that came with the guitar. The whole project uh, cost, uh, let's see, $8 for the stripes, $1 for the sticker, $8 for the knob, so a total of $17 and approximately hour, hour and 15 minutes of time. Okay, here's the test. Hi, Billy Mays here for Pinstriping. <laughs> okay, so <laughs>